let's talk about prepping for a gel overlay on natural nails. Whether I'm starting fresh or going in for a fill, I always start with cuticles. You can totally do cuticles after color removal, but I prefer to do it this way just because it helps me to not forget any steps. I start by pushing back the cuticle on all of the fingers. Um, usually I'll also use a pusher that has a pterygium, don't judge my pronunciation, claw thingy um, that scrapes the skin off. So you'll see here that I'm scraping sort of just with the underside of the cuticle pusher. Then I use a safety skiver bit from Erica's and I use this to push back and exfoliate that dead skin off of the nail. I usually do this at about three to 5,000 rotations per minute. It doesn't need to be high at all because we are touching the skin and the natural nail. I go in the forward direction first on all the fingers and then I will swap the direction of the e-file and go in the other direction. Next, I use a medium grit safety barrel bit to remove the color. I usually do this at about 12 to 15,000 rotations per minute. If you are using an e-file, make sure that you're using long strokes and not keeping the e-file in one place for a long time or that will cause a friction burn. Filing off color is optional. I would recommend that you don't do this until you are properly trained to use an e-file. Until then, soak off is your friend. Bye, Evie. Next, I am going in with a hand file. I use a 100-180 grit board file. I use the 100 or rougher side to take down any extra bulk on the gel portion of my nail. Then I use the 180 side to go over the entire nail, including the natural nail, and smooth everything out. And I also use this opportunity to push back my cuticle a little bit. This is also the time that I will shape my nails. Um, we're going a little pointier with them because um, I, I love my pointy nails. After that, we're gonna clean up all that dust with some rubbing alcohol. I always recommend at least 90% because otherwise your water um, ratio to alcohol will be too high. Now that my skin has reached peak dryness, I will use this opportunity to trim any dead skin. I, I just had a tiny bit, there isn't really much going on. Then I'll take that rubbing alcohol, put it on a lint-free wipe, and use that to clean the nails again, make sure I'm getting any dust off of them, and pushing back that skin yet again, can never do it too many times. And I use Japanese gel, so those are all of the prep steps. Once it's cleansed with alcohol, that's all the dehydrating you need to do and then you can go in and do your fill. Here I am using the Nail Thoughts Builder Base in clear. This is a great option for longer natural nails um, or even for building an extension if you're going to do freeform. So I have my slip layer covering the entire natural nail with this gel and then I'll take a larger bead, build out that apex and let the gel self level. If you found this helpful, please help me out and give me a like. And if there's any other content you'd like to see, please leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.